Yeah, yeah, we're uh, we're getting things uh, rolling here. Uh, Floyd Wilson is here from the Shore Club. He's the new executive chef. New uh, about four months, eh, Floyd? Correct. Well, listen, uh, congratulations. Welcome to Ottawa. Thank you, thank you. I know uh, you're getting used to a, a new city, and uh, it's a beautiful place to be, is it not? Yes, perfect. Um, wait, till, wait till the summer. The summer's summer? better. That's why everyone keeps telling me. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I mean, the winter is the winter, right? Yes, um, there's a lot to do in the That's summer. Right. Listen, you're getting ready for Valentine's Day? Yes. Hey. Eh? Uh, you got a big deal uh, coming up on Valentine's, nice dinner and all that sort of thing? Yes, we have a four-course menu uh, mm -hmm. where we give the guests a choice to um, choose different um, items on the menu. Right. So today what we'll be doing, we have a scallop dish that we're going to put oh. on one of the first appetizer dishes. Beautiful. Do. Yes. Boy, oh boy. Uh, and now, uh, what do you do with your scallops? Oh, we're going to just uh, put a nice salt and pepper on it and then just pan sear it. Yeah? That's yeah. it, yes. Where, uh, where do you get these uh, lovely scallops? Well, it usually depends on the weekend, the time of the month. We usually get it from Halifax or Boston. Yeah. Right? Um, but this particular one, U10, we get from um, Halifax. Right. So well, I, that's local. where I grew up. Yeah. I'm from the East Coast, so oh, nice. I know a good scallop when I see one. Perfect. Those are two good-looking scallops right oh, These there. are fresh. Yeah? No frozen And that's fresh. one of the things I know, uh, I know you uh, really concentrate on is letting people know and cooking with the freshest ingredients you can find, yes, right? Yes. Um, I represent it from the Shore Club. Um, all our ingredients are fresh. Um, because using fresh product and local product is always best quality for the um, yeah. customer that comes into the restaurant. Yeah. You find a different friends in the, the food that you eat there. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure people can taste the freshness and I'm sure when you work with food you can tell what's fresh and what's yes, not. Yes, even right? um, by preparing it, it's, yeah. um, it's, it's a better product coming out and even a person who don't understand fresh or frozen, they will find it's a difference even yeah. if they don't know it's fresh or frozen. Right, yeah. okay, what are we going to do? Uh, we got a sauce okay, here going, no, right? What we have here is a puree. It's it's a parsley puree. Oh. Um, I'm just going to demonstrate a quick thing how I get to that. Okay, good. Right, so... This is the parsnip. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna. It's an underrated vegetable, really. Yes, it's it's the a parsnip. It's a required taste. It's almost like um, if like in the fennel kind of yeah. family, like it's. It's absolutely of, beautiful if you prepare it the right way. I like it. I think if parsnip. you add a lot of a lot of butter in there, we will the you know. Yeah. Okay. So okay, so some butter goes in there as well. Yeah, some butter. Right. Um, right. Some garlic, shallots. Gotcha. Um, let me just put this here. So All right. I hear I'll, I'll, I'll bring that. Okay. Good, right. good, good. Let me put this here. Okay. All right. So what we like to do is just, just a quick um, chop to it. Okay. So it cooks faster. Even cuts, as you can see. All right. Then what Smaller we you cut it, the faster it cooks, cooks, right? And even cooking, right? So right. we cook that with some um, cream in there. Right. Shallots, garlic. Gotcha. And a bit of thyme. All right. right. Salt and pepper. Right. And then after we finish, we just puree it. You puree it. Yes. In a food processor. In a food processor. You know, if you yes. have one at home. Food processor. It works nicely. Or okay. If you don't have a food processor, a blender will work. Right. Right. Okay. Um, so that's all. That's all good. That looks delicious, by yes. the way. Yes. So um, also, we it's coming with a uh, gramolata. Mm -hmm. Right. It's a uh, Italian um, herb mixture. So we have some chopped parsley, right. some lemon zest, okay. uh, lemon and orange zest, okay. and we have some fried capers. Oh, I okay. love traditional, capers. Traditionally, you have garlic in there. Mm -hmm. um, the addition of us, we just put the, the croutons in there, so some bread croutons. Those are the smallest croutons I've ever seen. Yes, it's just knife skills. Yeah. Yes. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Knife skills. All right, now, uh, what's next? Okay, so what we would do is start searing. Um, okay. A little bit of oil. A little bit of oil. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yes. Right. So you could see the oil changing a little bit of color there. Yeah, right. yeah. It doesn't take long for that to no, heat up, let's right? Let's turn our heat down because we don't want it to burn. No. Oh, oh. okay. Press this one, then this one. Oh, there I you know go. it's. There you go. So, yeah, it's too hot. So yeah, just, you gotta, just we got to wait. Wait. Don't let your pan be to too burn. hot, right? Because no. that'll uh, create a problem for you. Correct. All right. So, what we're going to do, we're going to. A little bit of cracked pepper. Okay. Just a little bit of pepper. Yep. A little bit of salt. Yeah. What I could do, I could get you to help me to put this into the pan. All right. And uh, I, let me demonstrate one so we don't... Can okay. you put that back on there, Back please? on the Thank heat. Thank you, Kurt. There we go. So, did you hear that? That's oh. what we want to hear. That's so, what you want to hear. Yes. So you don't want it to, to go smoky and... Well, just put it, sorry, just put it on the seasoning side for it. Like, turn it yes. over? So we're doing presentation side then first. Ah. Yes. Then, we season the other side. Okay. Salt. A little bit of salt. Right. Okay. A little bit of pepper. Just like that. Yeah. Okay. The trick about this uh, searing scallops, you don't you don't want to turn it. I don't want to touch it. Okay. Okay. We're gonna let it let it do its thing. Okay. okay? Um, 
There we go. I want to make sure that's on. There we okay, go. Okay, perfect. All right. All right. So what we're going to do here, Kurt, we're just going to do, we're going to just drop these in there. All right. These are some Brussels sprouts. Yeah, they're the, the leaves, leaves of the Brussels yeah, sprouts. So just, it just brings a little bit of uh, uh, character to the plate. Yeah. So I just put it in there. But what I could do, you could leave this here, let it sear. Okay. You could come over here, Kurt. All right. Okay. Off I go. Okay, what you could do, we're gonna make up the gramolata mixture. Okay. Now. So we just put a little bit of each inside there. A little bit? Yeah, a little bit of each. Okay. Don't be shy. Perfect. I like the capers. Perfect. A little bit of this too? Yes, a little bit of croutons. Oh, most there of those. Are. Yes. Okay. <laughs> a little bit of parsley. Okay. A little bit of uh, citrus zest there. Okay. There we go. So we, what we did with this here is the orange and the lemon and the lime. Yeah. We zest it on a zester. Right. And uh, we dry it out. So we dehydrate it. Okay. Oh, very good. Now, what you could do is put a little bit of olive oil in there. Yeah. Just a little bit. Mix okay. that up? Yeah, just mix it up there. Okay. And we could crack a little bit of pepper in there. All right. It's a little bit of pepper. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to keep working on this, and we'll show off the finished product in a few minutes. All right, Floyd? Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm Floyd's new assistant here and a sous chef here, only at this location. Uh, Floyd Wilson from the Shore Club. Uh, and listen, make your reservations for Valentine's Day because this looks like a fantastic meal. We'll take a break.